In the 21st century, there have been countless books, articles, and videos written and created about why you should tell stories. I've added some reasons in this video series. However, I've had a recent revelation on why we should tell stories to me is far more powerful than any other. It's simply this. People are creating a story about you. They've, they're telling themselves this story before you've even met them, opened your mouth, and said a word. And because of our DNA, our ancestors who had to make snap decisions about people in order to uh, survive and maybe stave off potential threats, that's been passed down to us, whether we like it or not. It's part of our subconscious. That adds to the narrative people tell themselves about you. Add to that the Google reviews, the LinkedIn recommendations, referrals, reputation, all that adds to their story that they're telling themselves about you before they've had a chance to even work with you, meet with you, talk with you. That's the number one we reason we have to create a compelling story to overcome the one that they're telling themselves. Now, I don't know if the, the story they're telling themselves is positive, negative, or neutral. We've got to tell one that's better than the narrative they're telling themselves about you. That is the number one reason we have to tell stories in business. We want them telling themselves a story about us that is positive and encourages them to want to do business with us. In the next video, you're going to hear about a key element of storytelling related to your main character that most storytellers leave out. It's critical to helping us create a rooting interest for that main character.